Digital cameras are great. They allow you to take many pictures relatively inexpensively. One problem though is that by taking so many pictures it may be difficult to organize your photos or for that matter all of your media. Adobe has a great program that allows you to catalog and organize your photos and other media files for that matter. This program is called Adobe Bridge. It is found in the same area as your other Adobe software products. This program allows you to browse files on your computer. It will show you a preview of your files. In this video I'm going to use a collection of photos to demonstrate some of the features of Adobe Bridge. Right here you can see I'm inside of a folder and inside of this folder I have various types of media file. I have an Illustrator file, I can tell by the .ai extension. I have a JPEG, I can tell by the JPG extension. And I have a Photoshop document, even though these look the exact same, I can tell they're different here. And I have a bunch of other images as well inside of this folder. I also have a video image. Now the great thing about Bridge is you can click on the different media file and it will show you a preview over here. You can resize the preview window so you can see a different size of the preview. You can see metadata or information that the file has about it uh, stored on it. Right here you can see all of that information. And you can also, if it's a video or a sound file, you can preview the sound file. So you can go through and you can kind of see at a quick glance all of your different types of files inside of Bridge. Another great thing about Bridge is it lets you sort your, your pictures or your files. For example, I have multiple pictures here from Australia. Let's say I wanted to sort out and get just the pictures and not have the video and not have the other things like the Photoshop document or the Illustrator file. I could come over here to Filter, click on File Type, and I can choose to have just the JPEG file shown. What that does is it hides everything else. Everything else is still there, it's just showing me the JPEG files. If I wanted to see just the video files, I could click on this and it hides everything else, but it just shows me the video file. This is a great way for organizing your files. You can also assign keywords to your files. For example, a couple of these pictures, this one, I'm going to hold the control key and click on a couple of them. This one and these two relate to the Sydney Opera House. So I could add a keyword in that relates to Sydney Opera House. Over here on the right hand side of the window there is this tab, Keyword, which if I click on it gives me a list of predefined topics inside of here. Now it doesn't have the topic Sydney Opera House, but I can create my own. I'm going to click on Places, go down to the plus sign, create a new keyword, and I'm going to call this Opera House. I press enter. Now it didn't put it inside the places so I can go ahead and drag it down, drop it on places, and it will put it inside of places. With these four files selected I can click on Opera House and now what it has done is it has assigned that keyword to these pictures. If I click off on another picture, I come over here to my filter, I click on Opera House, it's going to filter out all of the other pictures and show me just the pictures from the Opera House. This is an excellent way to organize your pictures and your other media files as well. Let's say that I want to look at all of my pictures. I simply turn off the filter over here for Opera House. Now I want to look at these pictures. Maybe I don't want to use all of them, but I want to choose just the best pictures. I can actually assign a value to each of these pictures. I can choose how I want to rate them. So for example, I have a couple of pictures of the Opera House. Let's say that I want to use the best ones. I'm going to go ahead and look at the different pictures of the Opera House. This one I'm going to give it a rating of about three stars. If I press Control 3 on my keyboard, it gives it three stars out of five. If I like this picture better, I might give it a rating of five stars. If I press Control and 5, while that picture is selected, I now have five stars. I have a couple of pictures of koalas. Let's say that this one isn't that great. I'm going to give it a two star rating, so I press Control and 2. Same thing with this one. Control and 2 will give me two stars for this one. Now on this one, I like this picture, so I'm going to press Control and 5. Notice now how I have five stars. I can now filter my images based on the number of stars I've given it. 
To do that, I can come over here to Ratings under the Filter, and I can choose the five-star rating to choose my best pictures. If I want to see just the three-star ratings, again, I can just click on that one. This is an excellent way to organize your files to catalog the different images and different files that you have. One thing that I forgot to mention is that you can actually open these images right in the program that you want to edit them in. For example, if I right click on this image here, I can go to open with and it gives me options of other programs that I can open this with. And so I can open these images right into Photoshop directly from Bridge. A great time saving feature. Hopefully this will help you in understanding how you can organize your pictures and catalog all your media files. Experiment with Adobe Bridge as I've just covered through the very basics of what you can do with this great program.